Hey guys, what's up? It's Yana. Welcome to day 17 of Camp Nanoramo, July 2023. It was super hot today once again. There was actually a yellow warning for the entire country for just heat. So we've just been staying inside and like running the fans and the air conditioning and drinking cold drinks but I was actually surprisingly productive considering um, especially since I'm leaving in a couple of days and usually as I've mentioned before that makes me kind of a little bit stressed and anxious but I'm actually fine this trip I think because it's been such a busy trip anyway that like going back doesn't feel like I'm finishing a holiday so there isn't that like feeling of oh no my holiday is over it's just kind of like okay we're still we're going we're just changing the country but we're still gonna be going uh, but yeah no I've been doing fine and um, I managed to do a nice chunk of editing today again not as much as I'd like but hopefully I can speed up once I'm back in Edinburgh I um, did a little bit of translating um, I haven't looked at all of the projects yet, but I think I'm just gonna do a tiny bit in both of my books that I'm working on currently, and I might do a little bit um, in the fanfic as well. But what I'm working on right now is actually including some letters in one of my stories, and the epistolary kind of format is very interesting to me. Um, it's not used as, as often nowadays as it used to be in the past, uh, but I think it's just very useful when, for example, when you're trying to show the passage of time through characters in exchanging letters, or the other way that it's quite interesting is because when you're including correspondence with beat letters or if you're writing something very modern I guess email or um, chat messages but chat messages would be slightly different because they're a much faster form of correspondence but when you're including any sort of written correspondence it you're seeing the characters direct thoughts but you're not seeing them in their head if that makes sense so they would be slightly modified this is what the character kind of has decided to say it's a little bit self-edited by them and especially since if they're saying things in dialogue there isn't that much time to think so they might blurt something out that they don't mean but a letter is something very curated. So there's kind of like a few levels of separation between the character's actual thoughts and feelings and what they are saying on the page. And it obviously depends a lot on who they're writing to. So I find that very interesting. And that's something that obviously you take into consideration. So what is the character trying to express and what can you read between the lines um, but without directly saying it, with, without just stating how they're feeling and how they're thinking. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, actually, I think quite a few of my stories have at least like some exchange of letters at the moment. I didn't do that on purpose, but now that I think about it, um, there's some of that uh, in all of them. There, there's one in particular that I'm working with right now. Um, and it's two characters who are not only writing to each other uh, but also in their letter in their letters including kind of commentary on things that they have read which is always really fun I, I find that to be a great bonding experience when you're just commenting on books that you like and just quoting particular paragraphs so I'm trying to kind of include that a little bit and, and make it fun um, while also um, not taking too much space with that because it will become boring uh, yeah, so that's what I'm working on at the moment and also another thing I did today which was kind of productive has nothing to do with writing is I finally uh, went ahead and recorded 
a um, cover of a song that I was supposed to record ages ago that a friend asked me for. She wanted to do a duet with me and she sent me her part and her demo ages ago and I've just been postponing it because I've been so busy. Uh, I finally got to that so that's a relief. That's all done. I recorded it. I've sent it to her. Hopefully she's happy with that. Uh, but that is just to say I've done a bunch of stuff today and I'm actually very excited about what I'm writing right at this moment uh, because the point where these letters are being exchanged is, is actually um, quite a, an exciting point in the story for me so it's flowing quite well which is why I'm going to leave you and go back to writing. Um, Yes, and hopefully I sleep better tonight because I did not sleep at all last night. I went to sleep at like half past five in the morning because I spent the entire night watching Netflix and also responding to comments on my fanfic because I make bad life decisions sometimes and that's what I do with my nights. <laughs> but that was fun. Uh, so yeah, writing and then possibly sleep and um, I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!